Hello guys, I am back with another LEGO review. So, sorry, it's been so long since I've ever recorded a video. Um, the last one I did, I think, was either Tomodachi Life Part 2, which Part 3 will be coming out either this week or next week. Or the week after that, because I'm waiting for some exciting stuff to happen to record. So... It was either Tomodachi Life Part 2 or the Everything is Awesome music video, which I see you guys liked very, very much, along with my Tomodachi Life LP. So, um, let's go ahead and get started with this review. It is the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes set 76017, ages 7, I mean, not 7, 6 to 12, Captain America vs. Hydra. It has 172 pieces, comes with a... Hydra Henchman, Captain America, and of course, Red Skull. Now, it does come with the little comic adventure, which is just a bunch of dialogue between the Hulk Lab Smash and this set. Now, the comic adventure could have been left out, because it's really lame, in my sense. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. First up, the Hydra Henchman. If I can get it to focus. I'm hoping to get a camera for Christmas. A new camera. Okay. Oh, snap, snap, where'd it go? Here's the Hydra Henchman. Um, none of these minifigures have hair or anything to go on the top of their head. But at the end of the video, if I have time, I will make a... Actually, no, I'll make a separate video on how to customize minifigures like this. But anyway, you can see he does kind of have a tiny little mustache there, I guess. So maybe he's Tony Stark in disguise. Because here is my Tony Stark figure. And he's making the fi same face as the other guy. He kind of looks like it. So that could be Tony Stark in disguise to help Captain America. Anyway... Nice printing on the back. This minifigure has some nice printing. I like what they did with the legs. Different color, like, legs, but in between, it's uh, the same color as this. So that's Hydra Henchman. And here is Red Skull with the cube or the Tesseract. Nice printing on the front with the Hydra symbol and the cracks, the little stuff on his head. No, basically no printing on the back except for what's on his torso. And last but not least, Captain America. Now, this is a new minifigure for me. I've never had any of these minifigures, so that was kind of what provoked me to get the set. So, I like his head. Like the head and his outfit. It's different than the one in the Avengers, but he has a nice outfit. I actually like this outfit better than the Avengers version. And here is his shield. It's cool. Basically like any other shield with the hold on on the back. And it goes in like that. Now, Captain America does come with a motorcycle. I actually had it hooked up to one of my creations and I forgot I was going to do this video today. So, here is the Captain America motorcycle. I already have this body for this motorcycle. I got it in one of the Indiana Jones sets, and um, go ahead and put Captain America on there. Shield just pegs on the back, like that. Rotate his hands. Okay, there's Captain America on his little motorcycle. So yeah, it doesn't have anything to hold it up unless it's on a flat place, which is kind of bad, so there's Captain America's motorcycle, we'll go ahead and set it off to the side here, let's set the minifigures off to the side, and here is the, uh, the Hydra, I don't know what you would call it, would you call it a tank, I guess, the Hydra tank, now I might have to pick my camera up, but I'll try to just show you guys, there's just a circle, of the tank and it's actually quite big in real life so here it is next to the hydra henchman yeah that's the size 
So, inside, it's really nice. Take the windshield off so you guys can see in there a little better. Has this nice printed piece, which I got in Benny's Spaceship, Spaceship, Spaceship. I lost a few pieces. I had to reorder them. So, I'm waiting for them to come in, and then I'll be doing that review of Benny's Spaceship, Spaceship, Spaceship. Steering wheel has some extra space in the back. And 65 on either side. Hydro logo. And these are all stickers, not printed pieces. So... That's nice. And then I'll go ahead and take this whole tower section off to show you guys. And this thing could kind of second operate like a duck. I think all of you should know what a duck is. So here is the um, the place for the Hydra Henchman to sit, or Red Skull. Depends on what you like. Who, which one you like better. Um, these do rotate, or they move on either side. This, and they are flip fire missiles, so I go ahead and shoot them. You guys heard how that hit. How hard did that hit? And fire the other one. Yeah. Actually, I'm working on flicking them rather than just pushing them like that. So that's kind of lame. I like better flicking them. I guess that's why they're called flip fire missiles. These do adjust, depending on how you like it. And then Hydra logo up there, and two control sticks. I'll go ahead and put the Hydra henchman in here, because that's how it is on the box. There he is in there. You, Your best bet would not be trying to put these in his hands, so go ahead and put this back on there. Go ahead and put Red Skull in there with the cube. Now you can either just peg the cube in there or let it sit back in there. Actually, hold on. Come on, cube. Come on. Ugh. There we go. So it can sit back there while he is driving. Now, the coolest thing about this set is if you like, if there's litter on the street, stuff like this to move my camera. Okay, watch the wheels. Yes, the wheels do change depending on the surface. So here, I'll put my hand down and you guys watch the wheels. You can see how they kind of, how they move like that. So, yeah. That's the last feature. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good set. It's only $20. It's pretty cheap. So, go ahead and show you guys the box. And here's what's on the back of the box. It's basically everything that I showed you. And I think this is supposed to be from the new Avengers Assemble TV show. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. And um, later this week on Friday, don't forget the Lego Ideas Exosuit comes out. And I'm going to buy it on Friday, hopefully, if I have enough money. I should. But, yeah, I'm going to be getting that. And that review will be coming next week as soon as I get it and am able to put it together. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.